Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be presenting the Lenovo C340 Chromebook which I have right here. So this Chromebook actually took me a month to receive it. Uh, it was coming from China and uh, you know I guess somehow uh, or somewhere in the middle uh, EPS and Lenovo uh, they lost the package and I had to keep uh, you know calling Lenovo and EPS uh, to receive it and finally after one month I received it just yesterday uh, let, let me go over some of the specs before I start opening the Chromebook so this is Chromebook uh, C340 11 inch and the processor is Intel Celeron N4000 uh, 1.10 gig uh, gigahertz and then it can be uh, 2.6 uh, gigahertz with turbo boost uh, two cores and the screen is 11.6 HD touch screen, 1366 by 768 IPS glossy. However, uh, this is not a 1080 uh, screen, but I don't think that should be a problem because uh, you know this is a smaller screen, so the screen should be good enough. Uh, the RAM is 4 gig, and then the hard drive is 32 gig uh, eMMC. And the graphics card we have here is Intel uh, UHD uh, CS600 and then the cam is 720p which is not 1080p but it should be still good enough. And then uh, the Wi-Fi is an Intel 9560802.11ac and the Bluetooth is 4.2. It's not Bluetooth 5 uh, but it should be you know good enough because I don't use uh, Bluetooth that much. So I'll just set this aside here and this is the box. Uh, I haven't opened the box yet and uh, everything is still you know intact and you can see that you know the box looks like this so what I'll do I'll start opening up from here and I'm not sure there's going to be another box inside this box uh, because in the past I had uh, computers uh, which had another box inside this box but this one should be just one box so we'll, you know take a look at it and we'll see if it's uh, that's it for this box okay so looks like uh, this is going to slide out and I don't see any other box looks like the Chromebook is directly inside this box so let's you know slide it out and there's a power adapter in the box and So basically that's all we have, uh, if you can see that the box is empty. So I'll just you know get rid of the box and here's the power cable and power adapter. Uh, although this is USB-C and you can charge it directly so you don't have to actually use these. So I'll just you know set this aside here for now and then we'll just uh, remove this packing cover so here we have a small uh, setup guide although you know it's very easy to set up a Chromebook so basically they're just you know asking me to power the Chromebook first and then start setting up the Chromebook and then we, we have a safety and warranty guide so I'll just set this aside here. So let's uh, start opening up the Chromebook. So it looks like the packaging is very minimal. They haven't spent too much on packaging and you know this Chromebook is not expensive at all. This is a budget Chromebook. Okay, so here is what we have. And actually the size is very good size it's not too big not too small so this is very good for traveling and the weight of the Chromebook is 2.65 pound or 1.2 kg so which is almost a very negligible weight and let's look at the uh, slots what we have here so we have mic input and or we have mic output jack and then we have a mic uh, micro SD slot and then we have USB, looks like USB 3. And then we have a micro USB right here. And then on the other side of the Chromebook, 
we have the power button and we have the volume rocker and then here we have USB 3 and then USB C and then here is the lock slot or you know to lock up the Chromebook so it looks like you know they are giving lots of uh, slots which is not bad at all and the top cover is aluminium but it, the other part of the Chromebook is plastic so let's open this up okay so we have another small uh, brochure or information card and it just tells you to you know register your product and let's remove this here okay so this is what it looks like the keyboards actually they look like comfortable enough and the mouse pad is not bad at all and it can convert to a uh, different mode so for example you can make it a laptop and just like this and then you can put it into tent mode so if you do like this you can and you know the hinges and everything looks you know fairly durable there's no complaints there so I'll just you know uh, power up the Chromebook and then I'll uh, set it up and then you know I'll go through the rest of the video hello everyone so I just connected the Chromebook using a regular uh, power bank which I have right here I didn't use the cable or adapter they gave and uh, you know it just uh, asking to go through the initial setup so looks like everything is done here so let's look at the main screen which we have right here and I'll open up a fresh browser So let's just open up uh, a web page. So let me just, you know, see how the touch screen feels like. It's fairly responsive, you know, I cannot uh, see anything to complain about. So let me just go to my YouTube channel here. So I'm looking at one of my videos and uh, full screen and you know it just looks fine uh, I don't see really anything to complain about due to the fact that this is not full HD screen because of you know the smaller size the screen just you know looks okay it's not really a big deal and so this is the full screen uh, YouTube video and uh, you know this looks just okay I don't really see this is too much of distortion or anything so the screen is you know the screen feels just fine okay so just let me close this one here so now let me just you know convert it to tablet mode and see how it feels like Uh, this should be good enough when you are like you know watching a movie on a plane or on a train or when you're traveling uh, except that I really don't uh, use tablet mode when I'm at home so this is just for you know from time to time when you need that so if you look here you can see that there's a heavy basil or there's a, like you know big basil right here so this might be a troublesome for some but for me you know this is not really a big deal uh, but the basil could have been reduced to give you more screen space so it looks like you know that's something what they have here they have a kind of thick basil right here 
which is reducing your screen space and then here we have the Google Play Store and you can basically you know install any app from here because uh, now Chromebook can uh, have like you know full access to Google Play Store uh, in the past uh, Chromebooks didn't have that and then here is we have the settings and everything so I just want to mention that when I was looking at it on the website uh, or on Lenovo website or I was watching some you know videos about this Chromebook it looked a little bit better than when I'm looking at it uh, uh, looking at it in person so I'm gonna have to say that you know it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look premium version Chromebook as well it has some sort of like you know uh, economy version feeling our budget it looks kind of budget Chromebook you know it doesn't have that premium Chromebook, Chromebook feeling or, uh, and everything and even when I'm touching the screen or the keyboard the keyboards are fine you know there's no problem but it doesn't feel like you know I'm holding or working on a premium keyboard but in terms of like you know a budget Chromebook I, I think this is just fine because uh, you know uh, you get what you pay for and this should work uh, fine for day-to-day -day work or for travel you don't really have to spend a lot of uh, you know money on Chromebook so let's look on the back of the Chromebook again so here are two speakers and there should be a stereo but you know I'm not sure but I have a feeling that you know they're stereo and then again they were like you know very generous with all the ports and everything okay so here is something I just found out it's uh, when you close the Chromebook it's a little bit hard to open see I don't like you know I cannot just open it very easily so it takes a little bit of effort to open so that can be a designing flaw it's not too much uh, effort but it looks like you know it just doesn't it's not just easy to open right away and mouse responsiveness is just fine the screen is okay it's just the bezel is thick bezel but you know it doesn't interfere that much but definitely it's taking some screen space So overall, I'm happy with the product um, due to the fact that this is a budget Chromebook and what you're getting is okay, but definitely you're not going to feel like you know, you're handling a premium Chromebook, which is just fine with me because uh, you know I have other computers and laptops, so this is just my secondary or optional uh, laptop, uh, so it doesn't have to be a fancy one. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. On my channel, there are more Chromebook videos and Chromebook tips and tricks. And you can watch them by going to the you know, play playlist, which I'll provide a link in the description box below. So thank you for watching again. Uh, forget about subscribing this channel. Forget about liking this video. There will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.